Dr. Yu basically says, and he's right, light is a stimulation. It's a disturbance in the medium. Light is a disturbance in the medium. When we see that light, that's a disturbance in the medium right there. We're not seeing particles shooting out from the light. That's not what's happening. Okay, here we go. This is the one that absolutely proves light is not a particle, right? All we have to do is take three transparent sheets. If light was a particle, the light should be able to go through these sheets because they're transparent. But if you rotate it, now the light doesn't make it through. Boom. Right there. Whoops. Right there. That's proof. Light can't be a particle. Particle shouldn't be stopped by that. That shouldn't be stopping a particle. There's no secret quantum mesh. <laughs> that There's no way. There's no wall there. There's no physical barrier. The light should be able to transport right through that. But it's not. And so some people in the chat are probably saying, well, yes, Ashton. We know the particle wave duality of light. But do we? Why do we think it's a particle at all? It seems like the only reason why we believe that light is a particle is because of the quantum nature of the photon, of this spoon that can grow or shrink. This is also the basis for what we think of as like the ground state. Uh, maybe it's not the basis, but let's say it's related to the ground state of our hydrogen atom. Like Hal Pudoff said in 1987, the ground state of the hydrogen atom of his scientific paper. And what negative energy allows us to do, if we can achieve negative energy density, it will change the permittivity of space-time in that region. And we can potentially then allow for a situation where we are pulling this energy out. We can have a, a phase transition occur. 